Hey guys, Karen here coming to you with another quick tip for non-painters, <laughs> non-professional painter by any stretch of the imagination. I'm painting this wall and today I'm going to tell you something from a roller perspective. Size does matter. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so here you can see the part of the wall that I did with the big roller and the part of the wall that I did with the little roller. And granted, this is a second coat, but you can see how like splotchy and like uneven and like textured this part of the wall is from my first coat. And then the second part of the wall is like, oh, super smooth sexiness. And I'll show you what I mean in terms of the amount of effort required to put this up with the little roller compared to the amount of effort required to put with the big roller. So ladies, first things first, if you're painting, you might want to cover up your hair. Um, paint is easier to get out of hair than epoxy. I will tell you from experience. With epoxy, I had to cut four inches off my hair because I accidentally <laughs> dipped some of my hair into the epoxy when I was leaning down before I pulled it up or discovered a shower cap. Um, and also the other day when I was painting, I fortunately I had my hoodie up, but I pressed my... <laughs> I accidentally pressed my head against the side of a wall that juts out while I was painting. I didn't get any paint on the hoodie. It was dry, but you never know what might happen. So I, this is just for painting and epoxying and things that I don't want to get into my hair. It's a special shower cap. And I have my safety goggles that my husband bought for me. Isn't he so sweet? They're like, they're like fancy. I think he got these on Amazon and I'll definitely put a link below for these sweet girls if you're interested in picking up a pair of sexy safety goggles. I don't know if you remember my other safety goggles that looked like they were escapees from a kindergarten classroom. At any rate, now I'm all styling and profiling, covering up my clothes in my pajamas and I'm ready to paint. First, I'll show you using a little bit of a little paint roller, and then I'll show you using the big paint roller and why size does in fact matter. So first I'm gonna show you the two rollers that I'm working with. This one is this size, and this one is this size. <laughs> I don't even know what this is for. I, I mean, I know why I purchased it. I got it to do the epoxy in the bathtub and it's a smaller space obviously so this was quite useful this is an epoxy roller but this was the only roller i had because somebody in my building stole my this guy whatever this is my roller holder i had it out in a like a private cubby space that had my painting materials in it and somebody took the roller holder so i didn't have it and i'm like oh well i have this thing i'm just gonna paint with this and I did my foyer entryway the first coat with this and I'll show you how long it takes so I'm covering it in paint and you can just watch how long it takes to do this little section and actually I can see you might not be able to see through the the video because you're probably far away but um, the texture of putting this roller on the wall is like really, it pulls the paint really like, I guess tight is the word. Like it makes it really smooth. So it's taken me a whole minute to do this little tiny area. And I can see it's not, um, there's like wispies. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see like those dark spots are areas that aren't really covered very well with the roller. And so now I'm gonna show you with the other the other roller. Let me put, if you saw my video, which might not be out yet, for storing your utensils, you can check that out. It's probably very short. Oh no, look. Good thing I'm wearing protection. Paint everywhere. And now, 
with this mamma jamma. Watch this. Oops, I just spilled some paint. That's okay. Look at that. Oh yeah, you can see the difference. How it goes on. It's thicker. It's kind of like fluffier. Yeah, it's just nicer. It's nicer and I can cover way more area in the same amount of time as it took me to do that little tiny patch with the other roller. Yeah, that's, you can see, I think, that it's way better. You can see the area that didn't really get cover, very good coverage. And now this is when it's drying, so you may just be covering things for no reason. But look at that, that's way better. All right. That's my, my quick tip for not painters. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. For these sweet girls, I was just watching myself. I keep watching the glasses. Ah! Okay, take three.